we are going to do 10 things we need to know about you. Yeah. I'm going to be back in Sumu, so to the cemetery, to Kodunga Hill Camp. And, and enjoying. the place is nice, we are yet to eat fish. Yeah. But uh, tomorrow night, we are going to do 10 things to know about Dennis. Na kama uzaenda kusubscribe, bendo subscribe YouTube yake Lakini ako na watu wengi kumishinda Sasa natika kupochu watu wake Ita wandumu wakuni wa subscribe kwa But it's, it's good that we are working together, it's so nice you know? yeah. yeah, it's good, it's good eh, We have to create the synergy So the next time ata mini kenda Nairobi na mtafuta ni peleke kwa mta So let me turn the camera and your two the 10 questions. So, Dennis, question one. What do you like about Kisumu? This place we are currently, Dunga Hill, it's just amazing, you know. Uh, this is my first time in Dunga Hill. I've been to Dunga Beach several times, but this is my first time here, so it's now my favorite because it's amazing. You can see me. Question two. Why did you become a YouTuber? Uh, I became a YouTuber out of the passion for showing people the development and change that is taking place in Africa because we want to change the African narrative and also I became a YouTuber because right now I tend to depend on it for I, I depend on it for all my needs, financial needs so those are the two reasons one is passion for Africa second is for financial reasons Okay, question three um, what don't people know about you? People don't know that I am Luo. Ah! Uh, most people don't know that I am Luo. I don't know why. Maybe because uh, I was born and raised in Eldoret. But actually, I am Luo. Mm, actually, you have a physique here, Kikale. You have a job. So, uh, yeah, people always confuse me with uh, Kalenjino and the name is Mkale. So, this is Mkale, I am, I am Luo. Mm. There's a little bit mixture of here and there of other friends, but I am mainly low. Mm. Yeah. Question four. We are in question four, senior. Uh, okay. uh, what's your favorite dish? Uh, my favorite dish. Mm. That's a tricky question because I am I'm someone who likes food a lot. But, uh, you are a foodie. Uh, but fried fish. Fried fish. Yeah, fried fish. Hey, tangu totoni umekula fish, but don't apenda to fish. Hey. Hey. Question 5 Who is your favorite YouTuber and why? Uh, right now my favorite YouTuber In Kenya I would say it's Crazy Kenna Because The guy is also a role like me obviously But actually he has done a lot uh, He has built a lot with his YouTube And I would like to reach that level one day And be like him so I like the guy crazy, you know. Mm. Yeah. Question six. These are figures on a Tony Shanga YouTube, but they real. What you earn? I always see very huge figures. Yeah, so guys, uh, with YouTube, the thing with YouTube and money from YouTube is that you can earn a lot of money today, uh, this month, and earn very little money the next month. So goes up and down but the money is real here. Yeah. If you get a lot of views you can get paid while you on YouTube and you, you, have, you can just see some of the people who have done YouTube how they they cross around with a lot of money like this can I bought a Prado TX we know about the Nagatu Bush and the rest of the media and stuff. What Even Yalango who is already very rich is still doing YouTube so if you get a lot of views you can make a lot of money on YouTube. Not necessarily even the money you get directly from YouTube through corporate endorsements and, yes. and advertisements yeah. yeah, I agree. Um, to go question? Seven. 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 Six. Six. Um, what is the best video you've ever done? Not in terms of views, but like from your perspective. Because we know views sometimes in YouTube are a bit crazy. You might do a very good video, but if at a views in Dogo. So according to you, what is your best video that you've done for YouTube? The one I took the Ugandans to Nairobi, and it's a good thing it also got over 60,000 views. But actually, it's my best video because I got to show them Nairobi, and they were from Uganda, and they were surprised at how much Nairobi is developed. Ah, uh, seven. 
What is the most immediate change you've seen in Kisumu today? One, uh, many people are building properties, especially around the lake, something that was not there. The city is now too beautiful and clean and organized. So I would say Kisumu is changing a lot, infrastructure-wise also. Mm, Kisumu is changing. Question 8. Uh, what do you know about African Queen Grace Channel? So I've been watching African Queen Grace for a very long time. Uh, I've been planning to meet her actually because since I'm also Luo, I've been I've been wanting to know what's going on in Nyanza, the developments and stuff. Remember, I'm a I'm a guy who likes development. If I uh, I live here today and I come back like let's say two years later, and I find some changes to the place. It's more beautiful, more developed, it's more good buildings and stuff like that. That makes me happy. So, anytime I wanted to watch what, what is happening in Nyanza, I, will, I usually went to her channel because she used to do amazing reviews and videos about towns and cities in Nyanza. So that's why I started watching her channel. It's uh -huh. been a very long time, by the way. I think over two years or something. <laughs> okay, question nine. What would you tell guys who are coming to a free city? This is just this week. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, Kisumu right now has a lot of visitors and tourists, and because of a free cities, and I would like to tell people in Kisumu to take advantage of this. Uh, places like this, Dunga Beach, you know, it should be a place to welcome a lot of visitors so that they can do a lot of sales. Uh, we won't be from this opportunity, you know. It's an opportunity that comes once in a lifetime sometimes. So such opportunities is enough as we maximize. You know? Even hotels around this area wanna for what take this opportunity. We won't be some story. Yeah. Yeah, Muisho, what do you want to tell upcoming YouTubers? Mainly in uh, in other towns other than Nairobi, because I feel Nairobi people get uh, support. Uh, the ones from outside we really struggle, so what do you tell them? Uh, like your channel African TV uh, I've been watching it for a while, like I've said, and I would love it to grow and become a big channel one day. And for those upcoming YouTubers who feel like maybe sometimes the channel is not growing, or it's not growing as fast as they would want to, just keep doing the videos, you never know. One, Sometimes even me, myself, I do some videos, I get 2,000 views, 3,000 views. I do another one, I get 60,000 views, 80,000 views. So just continue doing, make sure you do what people want to see, you know. Like there's someone who has never been to Kisumu and he wants to, to see Dunga Hill Camp. Come and do a good video of Dunga Hill Camp and sooner or later you'll find yourself going. There's another upcoming YouTuber from Kisumu actually called Dogodeman. I've been watching his videos, so as much as you keep doing and you do something you want to watch, you'll find that you'll get followers, you'll, you'll grow with time. Parting shot? Um, I would say, if I become financially stable, I will move to Kisumu because no, this just city move, is Just changed. move to Kisumu. <laughs> I don't, the city is no, don't wait for you to be financially stable, just come. Yeah, so the city is changing. Uh, you can see a boat passing right behind me. So the city is developing, or I'll say it's already developed. And there are a lot of opportunities that are opening up in Kisumu. So I feel like that is what I would like to do someday, move to Kisumu. What, how, do you, how do you say goodbye in your videos? See you later, guys. All right.